Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by and watching my video today. I'm Debbie with Debbie Stamping Creations and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm really excited to show you this card today and I wanted to show you what products we were going to be using in the mini catalog, the July to December 2021 catalog. This is a suite that's in here. We have suites which include usually your stamp set and die bundles. It also has designer series papers and usually some embellishments or ribbons to go with it. Today we're going to be using the stamp set and die and some of the embellishments and the papers. So let me show you what we're going to be making today. It's a super cool card. I'm not sure what this fold is called, but I love to do this with double-sided designer series papers. It's one of those things where you find a fold that you really like, and then it's like, oop, got to do it with this one and this one and this one. So <laughs> anyway, as you can see, this is tied with ribbon. This is a ribbon that's in our mini catalog. It's got the glittery on it. You can see all the glitter here. And it says Santa Paws is coming to town. And when you open it up, on the inside, it says Holly Jolly Christmas. We're going to say, change the inside around a little bit for the card that we're making. But you can see you can have both sides of your designer series paper showing on this card. So, pretty cool card. I want to show you closer the um, stamp set and dies. The stamp set, as you can see, has got three stockings and you've got a cat and a dog on there. So, the hats and greetings. Um, and we have the dies that cut most of this out, but we also have designer series papers and this designer series papers comes in 12 by 12, but I've cut them down to about six by six, just so I can show you what they are. One has stockings on one side and look at this. This would be so cool for Halloween. Um, but you can see that the dies also fit on the papers. So, and there's three different size stockings here. Here it is here. Let me get them straight. And here's the small one. So that's one piece of paper. Um, another one has the dog with the lights on it and the cat in the box. And there's a mouse carrying the gift. And on the back, you've got some design here. That's pretty cool. Here's another one. This has got all the stockings on it. Um, and you can see we've got the hamster or gerbil, whatever it is, and the mouse and the cat and the dog. And on the other side, you got this really cool design. This is the piece that we're going to be using for our card today. I just love that paper. Here's another one. Pretty cool stuff on here. And on the back, again, you've got some design. And this cherry cobbler is the color that you're seeing on the back of most of this. All right, here you've got the dog and the cat, and there's a little fish. He's in his cute little sweater. And then we have one with the lights. And on the back, we've got the pool party. So, let me get started on showing you this card. This is a good way with any... 12 by 12 designer series paper that you have because um, one, it's a good way to use it up. And sometimes when we have, you know, the pretty paper on both sides where you're not quite ready to hide one. So you can use them both. Okay. To start with for this card, as you noticed, we don't have, it doesn't open like a, a normal card. So we start with the card base. My card base is four and a half by four. I mean, four and one quarter by five and a half. And I did the cherry cobbler. Anytime you have a designer series paper and you want to know what colors coordinate with it, you can look at the back of the package. Let me scoot this paper down so you can see. On the back of the package, it shows you which colors go with this designer series paper. Or you can just look in the catalog. Usually in the catalog when they have a uh, especially a suite um, or a designer series paper, they'll list right below what colors coordinate with it. So today we're using the Cherry Cobbler, and we followed that up with 
That was old olive. So this layer of old olive is going to be four by five and a quarter. That gives us a quarter inch around each section. Now the next piece that we're gonna be using is going to be the designer series paper. We're gonna cut our designer series paper down to 11 and a half. So we're gonna take a half an inch off of one end and it's gonna be five inches. So 11 and a half by five. Let me get my adjustment here so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so here's our piece of paper, 11 and a half by five. And we're gonna score that at one and three quarters. So we'll go to one and three quarters, four and three quarters. Looks like I have that one marked. And seven and three quarters. When I have bigger pieces of paper that I'm going to be scoring, I like to bring in the scoreboard, uh, the scorer, rather than doing it on my paper cutter. That way I can lay it flat and make sure I get all of them done correctly. Okay. So now that we have that scored, we're going to fold this. Let's get our bone folder out here. And there you have your designer series paper that you're going to use on your card. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fasten this down to this piece of granny, or I mean of old olive that we've got. And if you wanted to, you could turn it over so the other side is showing. Um, that's a good thing about this. It's two-sided paper and... Um, so you can get the design that you want. Adjust this back down so you can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna layer that on there. Got some tape adhesive on the side. Okay, so one of our pieces that comes in our die set is this big tag. So I'm going to use that as the front of my card. So I'm gonna cut that out of white, which I've already done. That's going to be our front piece. And we have this paper that we can cut the stocking out of. So as you can see, the pattern on this stocking matches the pattern on here. So we're gonna use that stocking on the front of our card. And voila, I've already got that one cut too. Okay, now we're gonna do the dog um, coming out of the stocking. And to do that, we are going to stamp him. And I'm stamping in our Memento, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Isn't he cute? Now we're going to take our blends. And we are going to be using the dark and light so saffron. So we start with the light. And we're just gonna color him in to give him that golden color. Gotta get his feet too. Now you can see the stamp has the detail on the ears 
like here's some and here's some his little hair sticking up here cute little dog okay so we've added some dark now we're going to take our light color again and go back and blend it so we're going to take this in and we're just going to go around and give him a little more detail we could also bring it in and get him some around his eyes here see how that shading just makes it look gives it a little bit more depth to it so now we're going to take the dye that cuts him out and i'm going to cut him out and bring in our cut and emboss machine Get it positioned where you want it. Once you get it positioned, if you take your other piece and you put it over the top and then push down, it kind of holds it in place for you. And there's our little dog to go on with our stocking. These are so nice to have. They fold up and store in good space. And Okay, let me straighten things back out here. I'm not quite sure what I did with my die, but I'll find it in a minute. Okay, so for the front of our card, we're going to stamp on here a greeting that says Santa Paws is coming to town and apparently I already have that on a pad here we're going to use our Um, we're going to use our, ouch, our cherry cobbler Put pat on that. And I'm going to angle this just a little bit. Santa Paws is coming to town. Then we're going to attach our stocking with our little puppy. Put it down like this. So let me go ahead and attach this down here in the corner. And I think I'll put him on some dimensionals, use some little dimensionals. So that he's up over the top of the stocking when he's hanging on. Let me get that put on there. And then to finish it off, or to add a little bit more, we're going to use the package of, see it looks like he's sticking right out of the top of that stocking. Now we're going to use the matte decorative dots that also came in this suite. And we're just going to take some of the little ones to put around just to finish off the area so we don't have them blank spots there. So we can just pick them. As you can see, they come in different shades of the different colors. So all the colors that are in the stocking, or in the paper rather, are in here. And they're just different shades. So we've got five of them on there. 
And this is what's going to go onto the front of our card. And we're going to do it about from the center over. And we're going to use dimensionals to put that on there. But we're going to space our dimensionals so that we can fit our ribbon in there. So... I just put all of my dimensionals on the wrong side of the card. They're supposed to be on this side. That's okay. So far I've been able to move them. And I tore a little bit of the paper there, but that's all right. We will fix that. Okay. I remember we're going about halfway over, so we need to make sure we have enough to hold it in place. I go through a lot of dimensionals. I always like to make sure I have enough that it's gonna hold it up. Okay. So, we'll peel these off and we're gonna go ahead and stick this on here. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish the inside of this before we attach it to the base because I want to add a ribbon and we need to make sure that we have everything else done. So for the inside of this, like I said, we're going to change it up a little bit from what we had the last time. So I'm going to add a couple of white pieces on the inside. And I brought in my stitched rectangles frames so I can cut a couple of these out of white cardstock. And we can use those on the inside of our card. So I'm going to bring my little machine back in here. I thought I had a couple here, but I don't. So we're going to quickly cut out another one. And when you're looking at your um, dies in the catalog, it's going to tell you if they fit on the mini or if you need the larger machine. I have one of these cut out. Okay. Okay, so we've got this piece. And I already have one cut, so we'll have two pieces for the inside. And we're going to stamp all those. Now, I have one greeting out of this stamp set that I'm using. This didn't have a lot of greetings that fit on the sizes that I wanted to use. So I brought in another stamp set called Holly Jolly Wishes, which is also in our mini catalog. And from this one, we're going to use Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. So for the center piece, right in the middle, we're gonna put Peace, Joy, and Kisses. And then, and the other piece, we're going to put, have a holly jolly Christmas. And I have to move this so I can see to make sure I get it on there. There we go. All right. So now that we have the stamping for those done, we're going to go ahead and attach them to the inside of the card. We'll put this one here and this one here. And when I attach these, I want to make sure that they're not showing on the front of the card. So to do that, I took and folded it like this, and I put it about where I wanted it on the inside, and then stuck it down. That way it's in the card, but it's not showing on the front of the card. And this one is going to go on here. So I just kind of made sure that they were level across. 
My dog must be sleeping very well. Just like making noises out there. Okay, so now that we have this ready to go, I'm going to cut us a piece of the glittered organdy ribbon and I'm going to make it about 18 inches long maybe. Okay, now the reason I waited to put this on here is because I want this ribbon to go between the two. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it here and I left space between my dimensionals in there so that I could feed this through. See how that feeds through? I saw that. Another lady did this on a card one time and I thought that was pretty cool. That way we don't have it over the top. But we're going to put this about half. About there. So now when we attach the card to the base, we have our ribbon already on here, ready to go. And it can hold it in place. Okay. Now make sure it's where you want it on the front. And then you can just fasten that down to the card base. Tie a little bow over here. And there's your card. Some people do a whole bow. Some people do a half bow. I don't know. You could tie it however you want it when you attach it to your gift or give it to the person. That way they would know to pull the strings to untie the card. And to finish it off, I thought, oh, I need just a little bit of glitter to pull in more of the glitter from the ribbon. So I took our Wink of Stella and put glitter onto our stocking. Look what that does. It just makes so much more, so it's such a big difference to add the Wink of Stella. I add Wink of Stella a lot to my cards. I like to have that little bit of extra bling and you can always go back and add more. Get it on here and let it dry. I don't know how well you can see that in the camera, but that glitter is beautiful on there. So there's the card for today. I wanna to show you real quick, I did a, another one. I have it here, so, oh, here it is. Using the same set and the same idea. I cut him right out of the paper. Just went in and fussy cut him. He's right here. And I fussy cut him and put him on. Of course, I used the different colors. This is the ribbon that actually comes in the suite on that page. And then as I open it up, I left one blank so you can write your message in here. But look at this paper. Here it's on him. The lights are on him. And here's the light paper. And then with the pool party on the other pieces, it just pulled it all together. So anyway, just wanted to share that one too. Thank you for watching today. Remember, if you like what you see, thumbs up are much appreciated. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my other cards, please subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when I have a new video. And thanks for stopping by. See you next time.